They told me that I have uh, B cell prolymphocytic leukemia with a uh, P53 gene abnormality. To most of us, that would sound like unfathomable medical jargon. But for Jackie Wiley, the medical diagnosis means one thing, a virtual death sentence. Last fall, the rare and aggressive cancer chose her as its next target. Wow, I'm going to die. I'm not going to see my grandkids. I'm not going to see my kids. A doctor recommended chemotherapy with a drug called Mabcompath. But the treatment that could save her life is out of reach. A 12-week treatment would cost more than $40,000. The Wiley's insurance refuses to cover it, and Ontario won't authorize use, even after appeals from her doctor. We asked the Ministry of Health why the province won't approve the drug. While officials won't go on camera, they did tell us they've reviewed the drug before. In 2007, clinical experts advised the province to not cover the drug, explaining evidence on its effectiveness was weak, that there are side effects, and a, quote, value-for-money ratio that couldn't be determined. Meanwhile, it's been approved in B.C. and Nova Scotia. Ontario has yet to give it the green light. Jackie's husband is insulted. When are they going to start to realize that they're dealing with individuals, human beings, instead of beans? When are they going to realize that? Even paying for the drug out of their own pockets is no solution. The catch-22 here is this. Even if we purchase the drug privately, do you realize that we cannot have it infused in a public hospital in Ontario? It's prohibited by law. While Jackie's fight with cancer rages on, she and her husband are well aware they're in a greater battle. We're here for a short time. We want this solved now for the people in the future. Nishi Gupta, Global News.